Good afternoon, after hours. Intel. Intel's numbers on the knee-jerk reaction, we went straight up to $23 with a short came in. That's classical Intel. This is not a very favorable time for the chip sector because of the PC, you know, and how things are changing. Intel has a lot of work to do. They did report a decent number, don't get me wrong. Uh, uh, key points from the Intel comments from the company website is that the PC client group had revenues of 8.6 billion. That's down 1% from the second quarter year over year. PC client group revenue was down 8%. The data center group had revenue of 2.7 billion, down 5% from the second quarter year over year. Data center group revenue was up 6%. How about that? The other Intel architectural group had revenue of 1.2 billion. That was up 6% from the second quarter. How nice for them. The quarter over quarter growth is driven by higher embedded revenue and well as higher Intel mobile communications, IMC, revenue. So basically, the quarter isn't all that bad of a quarter. The third quarter revenue came in at $13.5 billion. It was flat from the second quarter and slightly better than our revised expectations. Relative to the normal seasonality growth we see in the third quarter, our business was negatively impacted as it was. Weakness leading to softness in both the consumer and enterprise market segments. That's a very key issue. In addition, we saw a reduction in inventories in the PC supply chain versus the normal increase in the third quarter. Something that StockMarketFunding.com had talked about thoroughly that Intel needs to trade down around $18.5 before it will become a good buy in our view. And that the chip sector in general has been hurting and the whole Philadelphia Sox index is not faring well, but you also need the chip sector to lead rallies. Intel is very important. There is that spike and the short sellers hit it. It's coming down. It's making lows. 21.95 was the interday low. That was the high of the day and the close was 22.35. And the spike on the initial after hours earning reaction was right here and the sell short. Kabing. So it's a tradable thing. The thing that we like about it is, is that it's very important for us to understand MMTs exactly where the revenue stream is. Now, they're going to be talking a lot more about the call and whatnot, but we already know what this story is, and we've known this story for quite a long time. But one thing, why isn't Intel up toward $30? Why aren't they executing? They have a lot of growth, and they got to build up that mobile segment and enhance these revenues that they're falling short on year over year. So if we had an improving economy and a new president to run the United States, Intel will probably do quite well.